Hey guys and welcome back to another Cuban Games video and in this video I'm going to be seeing if a Cessna can tolerate a pushback. So in order to uh, start from a ramp we have to go to the locations which is this little mountain here and press edit start type then zoom in and you can see w if we were to press the air the flight net fly now button we would start here on runway 07 left. So what we want to do is find one of these U-shaped clusters, which signifies that it is a ramp, and we just click a random one, press done, and we can fly, start flying now. Okay, so we can see that we are now in the cockpit of the Cessna 172, and I do not know why the ground is shaking like that. Maybe it's an earthquake or something, but what I do is I do know is that I don't feel any shaking. So we can see our cockpit here. And let's just see what happens if we go to this bottom left hand side and press that wrench with the half a pushback car. And let's go to the outside view like that. And let's see what happens to the Cessna when we just do a straight pushback. Okay, so it says push cart on the way. Quite nervous of what is going to happen because a Cessna's propeller will get stuck into the pushback car. There is the pushback car. Now let's go outside and see what's going to happen. See? It is hooking the pushback leg directly to our front nose wheel. Usually pushbacks only happen to the jetliners, not a Cessna. In real life, a Cessna would not get this type of pushback. Let's see, why isn't the pushback car pushing? Oh, it needs my brakes off, that's why. Let's take our brakes off and get an overhead view of what is going on. Oh, so it just pushes the Cessna back like it's no big deal? It just push pushes the Cessna back. It's almost like the people who run this airport don't have any brains. What happens if we go full throttle against the pushback car? What will happen? Cessna versus pushback car! Um, apparently nothing really happens, just the pushback car gets sort of slowed down a bit. Okay, let's get another pushback. So this time, let's go towards the right. Push ki pushback car on the way. Let's see. Let's have it circle around a few times. I do not know who runs this airport, but they are not organized. Okay. Let's have our brakes off and have him attach to our front nose gear. And now, once he starts pushing, we're going to go full throttle. Wow, this thing is so... The pushback card is quite strong. But I know it's not supposed to be doing this type of work. It's supposed to be only pushing back a... Boeing. 730... It's only supposed to be pushing back a Boeing or an Airbus. Or any other commercial airliner jet. Not a Cessna. We are really messing this thing up here. It is literally taking us into a 360. So there you have it. That's the conclusion of what happens when a Cessna gets a pushback. And it does not look good when a Cessna gets a pushback. So thank you guys for watching. Check out my other videos about cubing. There's one video about an RC car. And there's a bunch of other airplane videos. So, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.